this press conference. And I'm particularly honored to uh, participate in this uh, very important uh, launching of uh, Energy Plus uh, as United Nations is going to uh, focus on providing sustainable energy for all uh, by 2030. And I really appreciate the Norwegian government led by uh, Prime Minister Stoltenberg in all the uh, initiatives he has been uh, taking starting from uh, uh, working as a co-chair to make United Nations systems uh, coherently, uh, coherent uh, system-wide coherence, and also he led as co-chair uh, this uh, high-level advisory group on climate change financing, and he also has shown extraordinary uh, visionary leadership in reducing emissions in deforestation and land degradation, known as Red Plus. Uh, this is a very important uh, basis now. Uh, now he is taking leadership in uh, energy, sustainable energy. And I really uh, appreciate uh, your leadership. Uh, I hope uh, many leaders around the world uh, will emulate uh, Norwegian uh, initiative. And I also thank uh, Minister Solheim uh, for his uh, commitment and leadership in uh, development. It's not necessary to uh, uh, define and to explain further. Energy is essential to every major challenge we face today. Relieving poverty, spurring economic recovery, combating climate change. Uh, Prime Minister Stoltenberg understands very well. And I'm very much grateful for you raising this as what is termed as a 50-50-50 challenge, which you have just mentioned. I would not uh, explained uh, all this. He has eloquently explained the urgency and seriousness of our challenge which we have to address. There's a 50-50-50 uh, challenge. I, again, thank you for uh, your leadership. We discussed uh, how we can work together uh, to make this uh, sustainable energy a reality. Uh, next year, June, in Rio de Janeiro, the world leaders will gather to discuss and to demonstrate their leadership, how they can work together to make our sustainable development. Energy, sustainable development, uh, sustainable energy is crucial for sustainable development. As you know, I have made the sustainable development as top priority of the United Nations, at least for coming uh, five years uh, during my uh, second term as a Secretary General. This is a op generational opportunity to shape the world of tomorrow uh, by the decision we make today. In that regard, I highly uh, commend your leadership again initiative. This is a visionary initiative to launch uh, Energy uh, Plus today. Saving our planet, elevating the poor from poverty, and achieving balanced global economic growth are one and same. Of course, we will not achieve any of these goals without energy, sustainable energy for all. This is not uh, what we are launching today. We have already done a great uh, work in the past. I have established, as you may remember, high-level advisory group on climate change and energy, led by our distinguished Yum Keller here. He is a Director General of UNIDO. And they made a good recommendation, three targets, as I said this morning, that we must provide universal access to all the people by 2030. And we have to double this improvement of energy efficiency. And by that time, we have again to double uh, this uh, renewable energy in the global energy mix. These are our target, maybe ambitious, but it can be done and it must be uh, realized for uh, the whole world. The goal is to generate commitment from uh, governments and private sector to achieve all these uh, three linked uh, global objectives by uh, 2030. Norway has consistently been among the strongest and most innovative leaders, as I said, for example, through uh, Red Plus uh, program to reduce emissions from forest loss 
and land degradation. Energy Plus builds on this innovative approach. It will help to mobilize private capital and public resources in support of the energy, sustainable energy for all initiative. I thank Norway for its generous contribution to this initiative, for its trailblazing leadership, and for helping to bring energy for all to the top of the political agenda. Now more than ever, the world needs to ensure that the benefits of modern energy are available to all, and that energy is provided as cleanly and efficiently as possible. We need to act now. Let us use this conference in Oslo and also International Year uh, for, of Sustainable Energy for All uh, next year and also we approach 20 summit meeting to build the political momentum around this uh, critical agenda. I thank you very much.